Guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a running toilet, guaranteed, and I'm gonna do it right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years, and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. This is a great toilet that we've got. We've cut up in the back, so I'm gonna be able to show you how to do things that maybe you probably couldn't see before because somebody's trying to shine a light in the top and a camera in the top. We've cut open the back of this and I'll show you in a minute. But the very first thing you wanna do is shut the water off. So you've probably got an angle stop coming out from under your toilet. This is a quarter turn stop, so you just turn it a quarter of a turn. Now, if this was an old style angle stop that you have to screw in, turn it off and slowly disconnect the water right up here. You wanna make sure that the water shuts off. The last thing you want to do is unconnect this hose and realize the water didn't shut off. Now you got water spraying everywhere. You're trying to put it all back together. So check your angle stop, make sure it shut off, and then get ready to work on the toilet. First thing I'm going to do is take the lid off, set it out of the way, that way it's safe. We don't want to drop it and break it, crack it, or anything like that. Now, as you can see, we've cut the back out of this toilet to help show you what it is we're working on. So. We took the angle stop, we shut the water off. We're gonna put a towel down under here and we're gonna loosen this up to take apart the supply line. Now, whenever you take it apart, you're gonna get a little bit of water to come out. And this is just the water that's in the fill valve. So you can either pull the hose over out of the way, disconnect it from the angle stop, but you wanna make sure that it's not in your way. Whenever you've got a toilet running, it's a couple of different things. It could either be the flapper is letting water through and that's going to let water continue to go through the fill valve to fill up. So first thing you're going to do is check the flapper. You want to look at it and you want to see the rim on it and see if the flush valve has any cracks or nicks or anything like that. If so, you're going to need to change the flush valve. Now that's a completely separate video. This one here is really how to stop your toilet from running. So normally, it's either going to be the flapper or the fill valve. Now remember, I told you earlier, check the seal on the flush valve to see if it's good. But to change a flapper, a lot of times, it's just unhook it and unconnect it from the handle. There's not a lot to them and they're not very expensive. I do tell people to check and make sure that you're getting one that was designed for your toilet. So say that you have a replacement, it's really easy to just snap it right back into place. And always make sure that it comes up to where it touches the top. That way you'll know that when it's full of water, it'll flush properly. Now, the fill valve, you can literally disconnect the screw and what this does, this adjusts the water level on your float to make your fill valve stop filling. Once you get it apart, lift it and turn it and take it apart. You want to check your diaphragm valve and what you do is literally pull it apart. There's a little screw and a little pin in here. You want to see if there's any debris in here. What I tell people is rinse this off really good. If you need to, wash it with soapy water, but rinse it out really good and look down in here and see if you have any trash in here. A lot of times, just this diaphragm valve will fix your problem. Now, one thing that you can do is if you see any trash down in here, hook your hose back up, crack your angle stop back on just barely, and let it flush this out. Any trash down in here will be pushed up in here. Now you may want to put a rag or put your hand over it to keep anything from happening, but sometimes just flushing that out can solve your problem. After you rinse it, like I said, you've got a little pin in here like a needle. You want to make sure that everything goes right back together just like it came apart. And once you get it put together, you're going to lift up, got it right back where it goes and turn it and you've rebuilt your fill valve. Now, if this does not work, you'll end up changing your fill valve. Now, changing these out really isn't hard to do. If you've already got the water drained out of here, which if you've checked your flapper, you've already got it down to this level, you can take a wet vac or a big sponge and get the rest of the water out. But if changing that diaphragm valve does not make your fill valve stop running, all you need to do 
Just take the nut apart on bottom. Keep your towel under here because when you pull that up, any moisture down on the bottom is going to come out. Changing out this fill valve is not very hard to do. And remember, we took it apart a while ago. All it does is snap right back together. If you had to change this out, it's easy to do at this point. If all you did is work on the diaphragm valve, remember lift and turn, it all comes apart very easily. Now, when you're putting the new one back in, if this one has been working great, I always tell people, look, adjust it for the same height because you already know that works. Make sure your rubber washer is on the bottom. Slide it back in where it goes. Snug your nut up. Put your fill tube in and everything's ready to go. Check here, you want to make sure that when this comes up, this is about a half inch to an inch below your overflow. Now that you've got everything done, take your angle stop, hook your supply line back up. Make sure you snug it up so it doesn't leak. Turn the water back on and the water is going to come out back here at the bottom. It's slowly going to come up and it's going to fill up till it reaches the proper water level and then it'll stop. Be really careful putting the tank lid back on. You want to make sure to not drop it and break it. This porcelain will crack and will break very easily. Guys, if you hadn't done so, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've had to rebuild a toilet yourself and you've learned how to do it, let us know, was it really this easy? Because we think it is. And as you see, I only used a couple of tools here. Really, I think I just used the channel locks. This is not a very hard job to do and it's one that you can do and save yourself some money. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.